Cek sound, cek sound. Oke, okay, assalamualaikum. Lanjut lagi alur cerita The Evil Within duanya ya. Buat yang nggak paham, langsung aja cek link di deskripsi bawah. Playlistnya lengkap di situ. Alright, recap kemarin Sebastian berhasil mengalahkan Stefano dan Lily muncul. Tapi Lily langsung dibawa pergi oleh Maira. Dan Sebastian lalu bertemu dengan Father Theodore dan juga Esmeralda Torres. Sekarang Sebastian sedang dalam perjalanan menuju ke safe house milik Esmeralda. Well, that's one way to do it. I was maybe expecting a little bit more stealth. So what are we gonna do about Theodore? I don't know. He's insane. His hideout looks like an Inquisitor's dream home. I should be relieved that Myra has Lily instead of him, but... What? Myra has Lily? Yeah. But I'm not sure that's good news. She's... changed. This place seems to have affected her. She's hiding, trying to protect Lily from Theodore. And he'll tear this place apart to find them. If I can stop him... Maybe Myra will come to her senses and we can get Lily out of here. So the plan is to take out Theodore? Yeah. But I have to find him first. How are you gonna do that? O'Neill helped me before. I'll call him. But I better give Kibben an update first. Right. But be careful what you say over that thing. She's probably in the control room with that lizard hovering over her. I did more than that. I eliminated him. Good. And Lily? She slipped through my fingers again. I'm sorry to hear that. Any leads? The good news is that I've been in contact with Agent Torres. Her intel has been invaluable. That is good news. So what's the bad news? The bad news is there's someone more powerful than Stefano who wants to take this place over. And he needs Lily to do that. Torres told me you know him too. He's a real smooth talker. Damn. I think I know who you're talking about. I'll send some stuff to your room. That might help. Keep me posted. You know I'm here for you. I know. I trust you, Kidman. Okay. Time to get down to business. O'Neill, it's Sebastian. Come in. Huh. Something's wrong. I gotta try and find him. You should stay here and get your explosives and weapons ready. I'll need your help once I locate Theodore. Is there a way into the Merrill from here? Yeah, there's a Mobius computer in that room. It'll take you to exit 72. Great. I'll call you when I'm ready. Hang tough, Torres. Got it. Good luck, Sebastian. Let me ask you a few more questions before I go. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind to take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't have. And you let them put those things inside you? It's not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chips. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, 
He probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. They always seem like they're your best friend. Until they stab you in the back. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. Me either. I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. It's almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now? I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Let's hope the marrow is still there. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. Another one of these. What happened here? Liam? Is that you? Liam? Is that you? How is my communicator getting your signal? Never mind. It doesn't matter. Where are you? What? That's on the other side of the laboratory. It's a restricted area. We were told never to go there. We don't have clearance. How did you... Okay, I understand. Yes, I'll meet you there. Just be careful. Huh. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the Marrow? That doesn't sound like him. These tanks. What's this about? through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Okay, let's see what happens. Thank 
God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Catch up with Hoffman and O'Neill. Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! Sebastian. Finally. Free. From his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him. If I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. Hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but... He heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't gonna give him up. So what now? 
Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. What is it? I'm not totally sure. But it looks a hell of a lot like the stable field emitter. Whatever it is, O'Neill said to destroy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I know just how. It's me. Sebastian. I'm starting to think you forgot about me. Have you finished arming that cookie dough of yours? I have. Looking for an excuse to use it too. Good. I'm sending you my coordinates. Bring the big guns. We're going hunting. Got it. I'm already gone. See you soon. I'm almost ready over here. Let me know when you're good to go. I need you to clarify a few things for me, Hoffman. You didn't seem surprised to see Esmeralda here. Why should I be? She's a familiar face in STEM. Everybody knows everybody in Mobius, huh? More like I know everybody. I've been in charge of new hire evaluations for years. Like one big dysfunctional family. Esmeralda's the best person to have around in dangerous situations. She's a good soldier. You're damn right I am. I assume you know Myra, too? I do. We work together closely. How could she do this? How could she stand by while they conducted experiments on Lily? How could she tell Lily that I was dead? Myra's maternal instinct is very strong. She joined Mobius to be closer to Lily. And the word experiment is a bit harsh. Lily was treated well, and she was able to interact with her mother on a daily basis. As far as telling Lily you were dead, I believe Myra only did it to protect Lily's feelings. Yeah, well... I believe Myra's maternal instinct has gotten a little bit out of control. Hopefully, you can work this all out as a family when this is all over. I've been into Theodore's reality. If it's a reflection of his psyche, he's definitely got some serious mental issues. That would explain why he's so powerful. And yet he's hiding. Perhaps it's easier to manipulate from the shadows. Well, I'm about to drag him out of the shadows. If what Liam told us was true... There's only one way to find out. I don't know if you should be in here when this thing goes off. I don't think I want to be. There were some interesting items in the other room that Liam was working on. I want to go check and see if there's anything that might be useful. Okay. But then you should get back to your safe house. No telling what will happen in here once we shut this thing down. Will do. Tell me something, Torres. So you knew Hoffman before this? Everybody knows Hoffman. You don't get into Mobius without passing through her office. Can she be trusted? I might have said no before, but nothing like being abandoned by your corporate masters to make you rethink your position. She's trapped in here like the rest of us. Hmm. So you're not sure? Yeah, she's not bad. Just a bit of a cold fish. I have trouble completely trusting people who look at me like I'm something in a petri dish. I don't know what's gonna happen when we blow this thing up. Me either. But at least we're being proactive. I don't think we're gonna convince Theodore to leave Lily alone. He doesn't seem like the kind of guy who can be talked into doing the right thing. So you're giving me orders to shoot on sight? I'm just saying be prepared for anything. You can't predict what's gonna happen in this place. No offense, but how did someone as smart and headstrong as you wind up in an organization like Mobius? I was a demolitions expert in the army. They loaned me out to Mobius for some black ops stuff. Once my term was up, they came knocking. And you just joined up like that? They were pretty good salesmen. They don't tell you everything when you sign up. I was... tasked with some things that I'm not proud of. They expect you to follow blindly, and if you disobey... When Myra offered me the opportunity to get out, I had to take it. I've still got some morals left. 
despite the things that I've had to do. Is that enough to take care of this thing? Like ten times over. And it's ready to go when you are. I'm good to go. I'm going to check out the equipment in the other room. Good luck, you two. Okay, here we go. Operation Kick Ass happening in three, two, one. <coughs> Are you okay, Torres? Torres? Where'd you? Sebastian Castellanos. You refuse to step into the darkness. So you try to bring me to the light. Huh? Your rash decisions have always been your downfall. Come then. I await you. His daughter. Isn't this what you wanted? Dad. You let this happen to me. Why didn't you save me? No. Please. I I couldn't. I wanted to. your dreams come true. Together we can take Lily from my life. Once I have the power of the core, you will be truly free. No. It will take more than bullets to stop me. Will you never learn? You sh shot me, Sebastian. Why? No, no. Come on, man. Get you out of here. get to you. You gotta... You gotta give that son of a bitch some payback. <laughs> 